doing. I'm here at the. I'm at the uh, doctor's office for the, uh, dermatology to get out to check out my. Um, uh, because they've been torturing my feet, but it looks like it's just a foot fungus. It doesn't look like a, um, you know, it doesn't look like a like a torture. It just looks like a naturally occurring foot fungus problem. But it's actually them torturing me. Another thing is that they um, um, they want to fuck up my car, and they did something uh, while I was asleep last night. They slowed the car down. I parked like this. You know, I, I usually park where you know they can't get to the car, and I also uh, a tie underneath the. The, the hood so they can't uh, open the hood I tie it shut with a with a wire so uh, I make it as difficult as possible to do stuff but they still get in the car and uh, another thing is that um, I tie the door shut with a with a ratchet strap and I, I tie the door closed with the ratchet strap and um, you know also preventing them from uh, from getting inside the car, but both both back doors and and front doors, I tie it with a with a ratchet strap like that, and um, and uh, you know I'm doing my best to protect myself while I sleep, but they still get in the car even with this, even with the ratchet strap, they still get in the car, and they still assault me. But the engine, you know, I don't know if they had an interest. They could have cut the wire. It's not, you know, obviously I, you could still cut the wire, but. You know, to redo it exactly the way I did it is probably difficult. So at least I know, you know, at least I know for a fact that you know somebody was in the car and did something to the engine. But they managed to do it any either way because they also have something um, in the car that's you know attached to the computer or something that affects the way the car runs, and uh, and it also affects if the car can start or not. They have something that shorts out the system. And prevents the car from starting even if the battery is good I slept all night I woke up and the car started right away so so what I'm saying is that they have all these different little things that you know why would they go to such great lengths because a lot of people get off on torturing me and stuff it's like a pastime especially here in Florida so the car as I don't know if you can hear in the video but the engine it sounds perfect sounds fine and it's running smooth but they're, they're picking other things apart in the car and, and on me and, and it, trying to make it look like a natural occurrence when it's not. So uh, the last two cars that I had, and, and I, let me tell you, this is the third car and it's still less than a year. Um, I, had, I had the, um, the, the, Corolla, uh, the Corolla Chevy Prism went bad. Uh, third car in 11 months that I owned and uh, the other two cars just magically had a problem while after waking up in the morning. Um, and also, and and uh, to, uh, to to find you know to finish off with the car, so they had the cars had a problem. In